We all remember that episode of The Simpsons where the fish mutated and had three eyes, but did you know that mutant fish are actually very real and very scary? These are 15 mutant fish taking over waters around the world. Number 15. Two-Headed Whale if you ever hear scientists describing something as without president, it's probably going to be something very, very weird. Like, you know, a whale with two heads. Apparently this unique condition happens more than we'd think, but hey, it's still weird as all hell. Actually, it's not uncommon to find two-headed whales, but what is uncommon? Finding them in Mexico. Before the discovery of this particular specimen, scientists had never discovered a two-headed whale in this part of the world. So when the whales washed up, linked at the midsection, they were understandably very excited. According to them, it would have been pretty much impossible for the whales to survive with this condition due to the biological complexities that come with conjoined twins. In fact, scientists don't even know if the two heads shared internal organs, and they won't be able to find out until the corpse decomposes. Yeah, isn't that just lovely? You can't do your job until everything is rotted off the skeleton. When you really stop to think of it, maybe those of us working boring office jobs have it better. I mean, I would much rather spend my day going through spreadsheets than waiting for… whale blubber. Like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Now it's time for the juicy topic. This fish right here is, without a doubt, one of the oddest looking fish we've ever seen. It almost looks like a prop from a horror movie, or a sci-fi movie. It feels like it should burst out of somebody's chest. But no, this is a real fish, and it's called a remora fish, also called sucker fish. Their dorsal fin is a sort of giant sucker-like organ. They have been known to use these to cling to boats, and even divers. Personally, we'd hate to have one of these things sucking onto us but they do have some use. Some cultures even use these guys to catch turtles, the sucker clinging to the poor turtle shell. What do you think about these crazy guys? As always, comment down below with the hashtag JuicyTopic, and let us know your opinion in relation to what we just showed on screen. Number 14. Two-Mouthed Fish Despite the lies Disney has fed me, fish cannot talk, which has always been a real bummer to me until I saw this. If ever there was a fish whose voice I did not want to hear, it would be this mouthy looking thing. Can you imagine how annoying that would be? Debbie Geddes was fishing on Lake Champlain in upstate New York when she happened to make the catch of the century. Debbie thought she had a big fish on the end of her line, but she could never have expected this. A two-mouthed trout. Apparently the fish's bottom mouth had been hooked, even though it doesn't actually work as a mouth. It's very confusing, but the point is, this fish is totally normal. Even though it exists with two mouths, it seemed to be in very good health, one of the few animals to be born with an unusual disease that is actually perfectly healthy. Obviously, Debbie and her husband immediately threw the fish back into its home, but not without snapping a few photos, because obviously if you catch a particularly mouthy fish, everybody on the planet needs to know about it. Obviously. Number 13. Human-Faced Fish Every now and then, the internet will present something that is, quite frankly, the stuff of nightmares. Usually it has something to do with Shrek, but not today. Today it's just a very typical fish with a human face. Very cool, very normal. In 2016, an elementary school teacher named Chu Shua noticed an unusual looking fish in Wugang City, China. Now take a look closely and imagine the scene. Shua was fishing when he saw a uniquely gold-colored fish shining in the light, with a freaky human face. 
Honestly, it's enough to make me lock myself in my house and pledge to never go near a fish again. Incredibly, the story does not end there, because in 2010, a 44-year-old butcher from Essex, England, also discovered a humanoid-like carp in local waters, but he actually sold his for 40,000 pounds. Who is paying for a nightmare fish? I almost don't want to know. In a way, this whole thing is kind of like that Freaky Cats movie where the animals had human faces, and much like that movie, I absolutely do not want this. Animals with human faces is easily number three on my nightmare fuel list, right behind spiders and working for Justin Bieber. Number 12. Radioactive Horned Fish in The Simpsons, it's claimed that mutant fish are created as a result of radioactive runoff. In reality, that's probably also true, at least in the case of this strange-looking horned fish, because as far as we know, a rhino-fish relationship is very unlikely. This man was, of course, fishing in Siberia when he happened to catch these strange-looking horned fish. This horned fish had actually never been seen in these waters before, heightening the confusing mystery of where exactly they came from. But according to the locals, there is an answer. Radioactivity. Okay, so it's based on absolutely no evidence or proof and is nothing more than a theory, but he also suggested that local radioactive pollution was the main reason behind the weird fish in the Irtish River. And because we have no proof of that claim, we have no choice but to believe it. That's how that works, right? The catcher himself has a very different theory about how the fish got their horns, and it's probably less realistic. But hey, let's hear him out. He believes that the horns could have formed due to fuel and debris falling from space rockets. Again, we have nothing to back this claim up, so it's probably true. Number 11. The Grotesque Mutant Fish we often like to remind ourselves that beauty isn't everything and then recoil when we see an animal that isn't that pretty. Obviously, we're hypocrites, but in our defense, it can be pretty hard not to react when an animal looks like this. Believe it or not, this was the photo that launched a thousand investigations, or well, actually, it only launched one, but it was an important one. When this photo of a, uh, well, grotesque-looking fish was posted on Facebook, the South Carolina Department of Natural Resources immediately leapt into action to get to the bottom of it. They wanted to know where it came from and why in the hell it had seemed that there was a giant tumor on its head. Great questions. I would also encourage them to find out what the heck this thing is, just generally, but hey, maybe they don't have the budget for three questions. Obviously, officials could not come up with conclusive answers, so you'll just have to apply your own explanations. But I think I speak for all of us when I say it probably had something to do with aliens or ghosts. Probably aliens. I don't have anything to back this up either, but I don't think ghosts are strong swimmers. Number 10. Giant Radioactive Catfish We've long been told about the dangers of the Chernobyl area, but animals don't seem to have gotten the memo, at least not the marine ones. Prepare to see one of the strangest things you'll ever see, a giant radioactive eel. This catfish was found patrolling the cooling pond of the Chernobyl power plant, so of course when the video went viral, the internet went wild with claims of radioactive mutant fish. Ordinarily, those claims would be insane and would be dismissed almost immediately, but in this case, they're not totally out of the question. Unless you talk to the scientists who claim there's a very simple and rational explanation out there for this extra-large catfish. According to them, the radioactive theory is ruled out almost immediately due to the seemingly good health of the catfish. A fish suffering the effects of radiation would undoubtedly be too sick to eat. Couple that with the fact that the Wells catfish can reach huge proportions even outside of the Chernobyl area, and you have a naturally huge fish in a suspicious suspiciously green pool. In fact, a Wells catfish can reach 350 pounds in the right conditions, and no, the right conditions do not involve a radioactive power plant pool. I checked multiple times. Number 9. Baby Human Shark 
Apparently, the world is filled with human-faced fish. But this... Well, this is something else entirely. I guess the best way to describe what you're about to see is a Power Rangers villain come to life. Or, well, briefly come to life. While fishing in waters near Rot Nadao, Indonesia, 48-year-old fisherman Abdullah Nuren happened to discover this weird-looking thing. According to Nuren, this is a mutated shark creature with a human-like face. In my opinion, however, that face is less human and more… well, if I saw it, I would probably call the Ghostbusters, even though they don't exist. The point is that I would absolutely do anything to try and get away from it. In fact, I would argue that this is a scarier sight than pretty much anything that happens in the classic shark horror movie Jaws. The photo went viral immediately after it was posted, with many people trying to get to the bottom of it. But as yet, the Power Rangers have yet to assemble to take down what I think we all know is quite a serious threat to the fabric of our universe. Please, Lord, send the Red Ranger at least. Number 8. Multiple Mouth Fish by this point, I think we've all come to recognize that the world is full of weird mutant fish things. And of course, Russia is no stranger to weird animals. In fact, most of the world's most unusual fossils tend to be uncovered in Siberia. So maybe we shouldn't be surprised by this fish with multiple mouths. A pair of fishermen out in Russia's southeastern coast happened to catch this fish with two mouths. And as you can see, that's far from the only unusual thing about the fish. Not only was it multiple-mouthed, but the fish also had a bizarre hooked tail that seems to defy all conventional fish explanations. Could this be another fish, touched by the leftover remnants of the Chernobyl disaster? Well, it seems like a stretch, but hey, stranger things have happened in this world, I guess. A two-mouthed, hook-tailed fish is obviously one of the more unusual things that a fisherman could catch, and it's a much harder one to explain than, say, a boot. So rather than looking for some conventional scientific explanation, we're just going to use our go-to answers. Aliens or radioactive sludge, maybe both. Number 7. One-Eyed Baby Shark Baby sharks seem to be strangely susceptible to mutations. Is there a reason for that? Does it have something to do with that Super Bowl thing or the kid song? I don't know. All I'm saying is that the baby shark song would have been much creepier if the baby had one eye. Yeah, marine biologists in Mexico found this strange creature, something they referred to as a rare cyclops shark. Actually, it was technically a fisherman who happened to find the shark. He had caught a pregnant dusky shark in the Gulf of California and cut the one-eyed fetus out of the big shark's belly. And it turns out that one-eyed sharks are not all that uncommon, but they are all found in the wombs of their mothers. Cyclops sharks have never actually been found in the wild because, well, they have no chance of survival. It would be like trying to fight a bear while blindfolded. Without an eye, a shark is pretty much useless. You'd think that would have been mentioned in Jaws, but I guess our misunderstanding of sharks and the importance of their eyes has developed quite a lot since 1975. Number 6. Pigeon-Headed Fish is it possible to find a bird-fish hybrid? Probably not, but one Chinese angler claims to have done just that. Well, close enough. It's less of a hybrid and more of a bird-looking fish. Is that stranger than you expected? Or just kind of average? While fishing in China, the angler thought he made the catch of the decade. As he reeled in the hefty little thing, he began to notice that something was kind of different. When he finally caught a glimpse of it, he realized that the fish was not like any other. Its body was very much that of a fish, but the head? It looked distinctly more bird-shaped, specifically a pigeon. Obviously, the onlookers were just as surprised to find that nature had once again played a pretty amusing and unexpected joke. A birdfish, not high on the list of things I was expecting. As to whether the fish behaved like a bird, that is inconclusive. As far as we're aware, the fish could not fly, and it showed absolutely no interest in stealing your food or randomly attacking other animals. So it's probably just a very weird looking fish, we hope. Number 5. Giant Mutant Wolf Fish 
When a nuclear meltdown occurs, what happens to the nearby bodies of water and the animals within? Great question. We don't really know what the answer is, but if this video is anything to go by, the answer is bad stuff. In 2015, a fisherman in Japan managed to pull out this weird-looking thing, a giant mutated wolffish that looked less like a fish and more like an alien reject. And the internet went wild over it. Theories range from simple evolutionary change to the belief that this is the effect of the destruction of the Fukushima nuclear power plant. There's no way to know for certain, but, well, just look at it. You don't have to be a genius or a fish expert to know that this thing is far from normal. In fact, it's kind of the opposite of normal. If you've ever seen a normal-sized wolf fish, you'll know that they're not the prettiest fish, even at the best of times. But still, this is a whole other level of, well, ugly. I know we're not supposed to shame fish for their looks, but it's kind of difficult to do anything else when the fish happens to look like this, right? Number 4. Winged Mutant Fish the world's oceans are so deep that we should all be prepared for weird, weird stuff. But this, this is quite frankly the stuff of nightmares, and it may have an unexpected connection with the Chimera, a Greek mythological creature. Oh boy. This weird-looking alien fish was found in waters off of Newfoundland, and experts believe it has something to do with the legendary Chimera, a fire-breathing lion, goat, and snake hybrid. While this creature isn't particularly, uh, lion, goat, or snake-like, it does have the unique hybrid qualities that make up the legendary Chimera, with the slimy body, green glowing eyes, and weird wing-like fins. People who understand fish have claimed that this is a simple, long-nosed chimera. For those who don't understand fish, that's a species that branched off from sharks almost 400 million years ago. So yes, this is a very big deal. The guy who pulled the fish out has since explained that he was a month into a 40-day fishing trip. He was fishing for cod and redfish, so I think you can imagine the shock, surprise, and confusion when he pulled this thing out of the water. Now, if it starts talking, that's when you should be truly concerned. Number 3. Three-Eyed Fish no, we're not headed to Springfield for this one. Instead, we're headed to the warm waters of Argentina to take a look at the real-life Blinky the Fish and his three-eyed beauty. Okay, maybe beauty is a very generous word, but beauty in the eyes of the beholder. A group of fishermen were enjoying a day on the water in Cordoba, Argentina, when one of them caught a three-eyed wolf fish. As you can see, the fish doesn't look anything as cute as the version in the cartoon, but let me assure you this is absolutely the result of nuclear runoff. In fact, the reservoir that this fish was found in, it's right next to a nuclear power plant. You don't have to be SMRT to see the connection here. I guess the biggest lesson here is to not go fishing in nuclear dump sites. The Simpsons have long been known to be surprisingly good predictors of our planet's future, but who'd have thought that they would be able to accurately predict the long-term effects of nuclear runoff. Well, pretty much anybody who paid attention to basic science could see it coming, so probably everybody thought that. Number 2. Two-Headed Fish when we don't like a human, we often call them two-faced. But hey, turns out that it's not just humans. Fish are also more than capable of having two heads, although I still don't know if they're particularly big on gossip. They're slimy, so they probably are. This guy was exploring his local wilderness when he happened to find a large pool filled with giant trout. According to him, not a single one of the fish was less than 24 inches long, so he decided to get a closer look. Look. Dropping his GoPro into the water, the guy managed to get some up-close footage, and that's when he saw it, a two-headed fish. But is it really a two-headed fish, or is it just a weird optical illusion? No, it's a two-headed fish. It's always a two-headed fish. For somebody who isn't even an amateur angler, finding a two-headed fish is a big deal. Actually, it's pretty much a guarantee of instant online viral success, or at least a little bit of attention for one to two hours. Either way, a little online validation goes a long way in today's social media world, but you don't want your heads to get too big. Number 1. Mutant Creature 
I feel confident in saying that anybody's first impression of this creature is the same. What the hell is that? And that's the question everybody is asking, including the guys that fished it out of the water in the first place. This weird fish was caught in the Kama River in Russia, but nobody can agree on what exactly it is. The fishermen believe that it's a mutated specimen of the Chinese sleeper, but that's unconfirmed. What we do know is that it's terrifying with a freaky face, sharp teeth, and the body of an eel. Oh, and did I mention that it's at least two feet long? Because yeah, it's at least two feet long. But not everybody is on board with the Chinese sleeper theory, with some believing that it's a piranha or mutated freshwater fish. Whatever it is, it's exactly the kind of fish that you don't want to encounter. In fact, I'd go as far to say that I would never want to see any kind of fish whatsoever after this. And that includes beloved Disney movies set under the sea. I'm sorry, Nemo. You're too scary for me to deal with right now. What would you name a mutant fish? Let us know in the comments. Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on screen right now. See you next time.